it's quite flexible. You can do that with it. That's how it came in the post. And when you let go, there, it springs back. Check it out an antenna with a 3D printed base and a 3D printed knobble on top. Will this thing be any good? Let's find out. Right, so today we're looking at this homebrew 3D printed antenna. It's for 2 and 70. So we got it from the States, around about 20 odd quid. I think they have to charge the five delivery. So the base of it, you can tell that's been 3D printed. That's a bit of screws into the radio. Got the whip here, I think that's titanium. Uh, put it in the comments below if you know what this is. I think it's titanium. And you've also got the 3D printed knobble on the top. Stop me poking your eyes out. And it's quite flexible because when it comes in the packet, it comes like that and you can just let go and it springs back. It's a lot longer than a stock antenna. So there's a stock uh, Bayer thing antenna. And this is a Nagoya NA701 antenna, as you can see there. It's a lot longer. It's even longer than both antennas put together. Well, we're going to test it with this Bayer thing BFF8. HP radio there and see if we can access any repeaters. What do you reckon? This antenna is going to be any good or just another pile of junk? Let's uh, find out. Okay, so we're in the garden. We've got the Bayofing BFF8 HP. Let's try and access a few repeaters. So, the first one we'll try is GB3NL. It's about four and a half, five miles away. Let's see if we can get in. Now, this one needs a special tone, 750 hertz tone. And you get that by PTTing with the A and B button on this bow thing. So it's in. 2E0 IQJ checking access for GB3NL. 2E0 IQJ checking access for GB3NL. We've got in. We've got the beep comeback. Obviously we've got no one come back to us on the NL repeater. Let's try... Yeah, right. There you go, you someone's come back. Thank you very much, Golf 4 work in progress. This is 2E0 IQJ. Yeah, I'm just testing an antenna I picked up. Uh, well, a friend picked it up, it's got a 3D printed base. We're just testing it out there. So, thank you very much for that. I'm going to try, try a few different repeaters there. Back to you. Yeah, not bad, mate. It's, uh, yeah, you're coming through okay. The audio's a bit quiet on, uh, on NL, but it's not you, it's the uh, repeater, I think. Uh, 2 is IQJ, carry on, sir. G4WIP. Yeah, 73, G4WIP, 2 is IQJ, 73, thank you. So we got into NL, and work in progress. G4WIP came back to us. Right, someone else has come back on there, so it's quite active now, that repeater. Let's try OY. 2E0 IQJ, check in access for GB3 OY. Just testing a handheld antenna, 2E0 IQJ. It's in. Or will we get any response back from the repeater? Got a response back from the repeater, but no one come back to us. That was about seven or so miles away. Let's try LV. I think it's supposed to be about eight or nine miles away. Let's try LV. Sorry, LV. Okay, good. Repeat's coming back to us. Let's put a call out. 2E0 IQJ. Check and access for GB3 LV. And uh, yeah, check and access for GB3 LV. This is 2E0 IQJ. We got in, the beeps come back. Of course, you know, come, come back to us. It's about eight or so miles away. So the antenna is, she's working. We need to do a proper test and let's go up to a high spot. Go up to a high spot and then start doing some, uh, so we can get any DX out of this and try and access a few more distant repeaters. Probably getting about 10 miles or so. I've tried other repeaters uh, lo locally, about 12, 15 miles away. I wasn't able to get into him. Then again, I'm in a bit of a built up area and it's been an open space. Anyway, that was a look at the 3D printed antenna. So an antenna with a 3D printed base and a 3D printed knob on top. And we plugged it into the Bayer thing BFF8HP. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, that other button seems to work too. 
But as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Seven threes from 2E0 IQJ.